giving out praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakaha Kodash, double honor to the elder apostle of the great millstone. Shalom on to the hopeful elect. The tree of life. This is Genesis 3rd, chapter 22nd verse. And the Lord Yahweh Power said, Behold, the man is become as one of us to know good and evil. And now lest he put forth his hand and take also of the tree of life and eat and live forever. I pray to the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, grant me understanding of this scripture. What I'm getting is that the tree of life is just knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Holy Scriptures, the 100% truth. That is the tree of life that will lead you into, that we're supposed to eat from and live, ultimately live forever. So, like your motion and throat. The tree of life is the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Holy Scriptures of the Bible. And through faith, if you believe in Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by way of rehearsing the righteous acts and continue to work, occupy to the Lord return. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, that is the tree of life. You know, Luke 8 and 11 says that the word is. is Seed, the seed is the word. Let's get that. Luke 8 and 11. Talking about the tree of life. Am I say, did I say that right? Luke 8. Yeah. How wish I said this. Now the parable is this. The seed is the word of Yahweh. How? And once you come into the truth. Or once you hear that the true name of the Lord and His only begotten Son is Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah? That's a that's a spiritual seed being planted in you, and and that knowledge, wisdom, and understanding can give you life. And if the Lord chooses you, everlasting life you will have. Is that so? That's the tree of life. Knowing the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Holy Scriptures, the Bible, the one hundred percent truth taught by the elder apostles of Great New Stone. Starting with Elder Tahar, all the way down through the Akim, the Brotherhood around the world. The tree of life is the 100% truth. I pray to the Lord give me the proper understanding of this, this, this scripture. On to the next one, Shalom.